and welcome to Conservator's Corner. This is a video series devoted to exploring the care and research of the Detroit Institute of Arts collection. I'm Ellen Hansbach and I'm the Paintings Conservator at the DIA. And I'm Jim Storm, the DIA's Mount Maker. This is a two-part presentation where we will talk about how we prepared this mural for its installation here in the New Asian Galleries that opened in November 2018. In today's video, I will introduce how the mural was made, how it came to be at the DIA, and the conservation work it needed. Here at the DIA, we have conservation labs devoted to the care of paintings, objects, paper, and textiles. To aid in the research and treatment of our collection, we also have a conservation scientist and an imaging specialist. A mound maker and two paper care specialists are part of our department as well. Today, I would like to virtually welcome you into the paintings conservation lab. Sometimes, however, projects are so large or otherwise unusual that they take me out of the confinement of my regular lab. This happened when my colleague Jim Storm and I worked on the three large mural fragments. The mural depicts a bodhisattva seated with one leg bent and the other resting on a small lotus. A bodhisattva is a revered being who is on the path of becoming a fully enlightened Buddha. Bodhisattvas are motivated by the great compassion to reduce suffering for all beings. The image once extended further, as we can see from the cut of halos, of two more figures, but we do not know the full extent of the original composition. We also do not know the exact origin of this mural fragment. It is speculated to have come from a temple or monastery from the Shangxi region in China. It probably dates to the 1300s. So how was the mural made? Before the mural was painted, the wall was prepared with a clay plaster. Some of that original plaster has remained until today, and we can observe that it consisted of two separate layers, as you can see in the details. The lower, thicker foundation layer is made of clay with embedded straw and husks. These fibers aided with stability, attachment, and leverage shrinking. A thin, smooth clay layer was then applied to this ground to prepare the rougher surface for painting. Onto this surface, the thin paints were applied. They were made with ground pigments bound in a water-based paint medium. We can still observe artifacts of the original wall in the mural, such as surface irregularities or cracks, as it had remained there for over 500 years. The mural came to the DIA in 1951 as a gift of C.T. Lu. C.T. Lu was one of the most prominent art dealers of Chinese and South Asian art of the first half of the 20th century. He owned galleries in Paris and New York that supplied museums and private collectors worldwide. Here, you see him in front of the DIA's mural shortly before it came to the museum. At present, we do not know how Lu acquired the mural or what the interactions were like between the representatives of the site and the middlemen that worked for Lu in China to gather artworks. Reports from the 1930s suggest that at least one monastery in China sold similar portion of murals to art dealers using the funds for building renovations. Perhaps the DIA's mural has a similar history. For now, it is the artwork that reveals some of its unknown history. From comparative pieces, we can assume that the mural was removed from its original location sometime between the 1920s and the 1940s. On site, the mural was loosened by cutting through the plaster parallel to the original wall. It can be assumed that the paint layer was protected with facings made of cloth or paper. Placed under ultraviolet radiation, we can visualize later changes to the surface of the mural. 
Thus, we notice later fills as orangey, yellow, or dark purple lines in between even rectangular sections. In this slide, the joints are outlined in yellow. These joints indicate that the mural was cut into smaller sections for transport to the Louvre Gallery in Paris. There, the individual wall sections were assembled into three larger panels with infilling between the rectangular segments and along the edges. Most of the top section is a later addition to give it the same width as the lower two panels which I have highlighted here. Each of the three sections are backed with a thick and heavy plaster bed. Embedded in the white plaster is an iron armature that provided some rigidity and inserted wires offered a hanging mechanism. During the initial treatment at the Lou Gallery, missing elements were reconstructed and abraded paint layers were reinforced. Later interventions here at the DIA focused on stabilizing and securing the original paint layers. We do not try to paint in missing sections anymore because we want visitors to understand which parts are original. It is for this reason that many of the losses were filled with a clay colored plaster, but not painted. See, for example, along the left edge of the middle section. I have highlighted them in yellow here. I followed the same conservation approach during this last treatment. The cumulative weight of the plaster sections led to a separation between the clay plaster and the later backing, especially along the bottoms, as you can see in the details shown here. Cracks and losses occurred because the panels were flexible and bent easily. I re-adhered the original clay plaster with a conservation grade adhesive. Once the original plaster was securely attached to the support, I filled losses with paper pulp that was dyed the color of the clay. Paper is a lightweight, stable, and easily removable material. For the protection and preservation of this heavy and fragile artifact, the new mount was as important as these interventions. The mount was also crucial to install the mural safely in the new gallery. Jim Storm designed the structure, and he will talk more about his work and thought process in part two of this presentation. Thank you for watching this video on the Bodhisattva mural. Be on the lookout for our next installment of Conservatives Corner. Thank you very much for listening. Be safe and we hope to see you soon in the DIA. Thank you. Bye-bye.